Good morning, everybody. It's Jennifer, and this is my week two update for my Beach Body Challenge with my friend Melissa. Um, just to kind of recap, I am doing the Body, body Gospel program and um, meal plan. Of course, I lost my meal planner, so I'm just kind of doing a revised one that is a lower GI kind of a meal plan. Um, so what's worked for me this week? Well, well, first of all, let me let me say that I haven't lost any weight this week. So, and I'm okay with that. And I'll get to why I'm okay with that in a minute. But um, the things that did not work, I've had a lot of issues this week, I think. Um, first of all, I had some knee problems. So I could not work out the way that I wanted to. I actually missed two full workouts this week and I had to go through and modify other workouts in order to be able to do them. And you know, I mean, and these are the kind of things, they just can't be modified that way. It just doesn't work right the way, that way. So um, I got some stuff going on with my arms and I got some stuff going on with my abs, but in the long run, I wasn't getting the cardio that I really needed to be getting this week. So, so yeah, there you go. Um, and I had a little bit of issue with the eating because let's say it's really hard to write your own meal plan. First of all, um, harder still when you're trying to do it with a specific, um, diet plan in mind and even harder still when you're trying to modify, modify that even farther to match your body physiology because the thing was with the lower GI diet, you're eating a ton of food. I mean, a ton of food. I mean, at, at a dinner sitting, you'll have two cups of salad, four ounces of meat, and on top of that, fruit and a whole grain. My stomach is literally, it, I mean, it's the size and shape of a banana, literally. I, I just physically, I can't eat that much food. So I'm having to kind of work with it and modify it to kind of match what I need and my needs as a sleever. Um, the biggest thing for a sleever is protein, 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 because we can't eat that much and our bodies really have to have a certain amount of protein per day just in order to function. Um, the second thing that I'm trying to focus on is vegetables. I don't eat fruit. It's not that I don't like fruit. I just don't eat it. It's just not... You know, I would rather I would rather munch on a bowl of sautéed onions and peppers than I would munch on a bowl of cherries. So that's just me. I know it's weird, but it's me. Um, so so vegetables are my next thing, and then the final thing is the whole grains. And so I need all three of them in order for my body to work properly. But um, I can't really necessarily do it the way the diet demands it. So I'm kind of trying to modify that and seeing how that works. So that's a little difficult challenge that I've been having this week too. So no, I haven't lost any weight this week. Um, another thing too to keep in mind though, when you start a new diet plan, and this happens with everybody, the second week, the second or third week, you're going to have a stall. It just happens. It's just the way our bodies work. You can ask pretty much anybody. You watch The Biggest Loser, um, they'll lose like 10, 15, 20 pounds the first week, and the second week they'll lose like a pound or nothing, or they'll even gain weight the second week, doing exactly the same thing. And, you know, my, my theory is that what happens is your body gets really excited the first week, and it's like, yay, this is so cool, this is so exciting, this is fun, and you drop all this weight, and then the second week your body's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Am I ready for this? And then it freaks out a little bit. It has a little mini temper tantrum. And so, you know, so that's what happens. But I'm okay with that because I know I'm going to lose next week too. So it's all great, baby. So, all right, what's my meal plan look like for the week? Well, I'm going to post a link underneath. Um, in the comment section. So if you're interested to see what my meal plan looks like for the week, you can go and check it out. Um, I'd love for everybody, anybody and everybody who wants to to do that because I need the accountability, quite frankly. <laughs> so, so yeah, if you want to check it out, go check it out. Um, and let's see, the other thing I wanted to talk about this week is setting goals. When you first meet with your surgeon, um, you and he are going to have some goals that you're going to set together. Your goals may actually differ from his. You may think, oh, that's too much weight. I can't lose that much weight. Or you may think, hmm, that's not enough weight. Maybe I should lose more than that. 
So your personal goals may differ from your surgeon's goals, and that's cool. That's absolutely fine. But the important thing is that you set them and that you work toward them. And this, there can be a myriad of different goals that you're going to want to set. You might want to set some goals on, um, you know, weight loss. You might want to set some fitness goals. You might want to set some size goals. You know, my goal to start with was to get under 200 pounds and to get to be a size 14. And then I was like, okay, and we'll just take a weight and see attitude. Well, I am under 200 pounds right now and I'm at a size 14 and I want to keep going. I don't want to stop. I want to see what I look like at 150 pounds because I've never been 150 pounds. So that's what we're going to do. Um, my other goal, one of my goals, this is really interesting, was that I wanted to be able to cross my legs. Now, a lot of people are going to take that for granted. Like, what, you couldn't cross your legs? No, I couldn't. Obese, when you're obese and you're that big, crossing your legs is kind of a joke. And so I've been crossing my legs just fine for the last couple of months. And then last night was really funny because I actually tucked my my right foot behind my ankle as I was crossing my legs. And the funny thing is, when I was growing up, I would watch the cheerleaders in school do just that. And I'd be like, oh, that's so cool. They can do that. I want to do that. Why can't I do that? That's funny. I want to do that. And now I can do that. So that's pretty exciting. So another goal that I've been that I've had is to be able to just, you know, walk up steps without getting winded. And I can do that. I can walk up several flights of stairs, actually, without getting winded. So that's pretty exciting. And so, yeah, I mean... Goals are really important. You, you're going to want to set some. So, you know, talk about it. What are your goals? What do you want to do? What is your surgeon's goal for you? What is your goal for you? Um, set short-term goals. My first, you know, your first six months, you want to lose this much weight. Set long-term goals. You know, by the end of your first year, or, you know, when you reach goal, you want this to be your goal weight. You know, it really is a great motivator and it helps you look towards the future and it helps you say, okay, this is what well, I'm working I towards. Really badly. Then go potty. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's it for me because the kids got to go potty. So I got to go help them. So thank you guys for watching. Love y'all. God bless you. Have a great week. Don't forget to like my page, subscribe and comment and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.